Hey, what's going on? What I what I want to do is there's a I mean there's a whole bunch of videos of this kind of thing on on YouTube. It's like nothing new, but I just want to kind of show you my way that I've that that I'm doing it with the fish tank uh, and you know some different vegetables, um, bell peppers, different colors. Uh, I've got my aquarium, you know, and I've squeegeed uh, all the sides out. I've got a squeegee that way. You know, when you shoot, you can't, uh, there's no water on the edges, no drops, so that you can tell you're shooting through a fish tank. I've got these black boards set up on, these foam boards set up on the side, because when these, when the flashes go off, uh, or even when they don't, you know, they're not going off, you'll get reflection from what's ever in the room around, around you, uh, reflection or color cast on, uh, on the fish tank, so you'll be able to see you know like right now you can see the squeegee reflection you know in the fish tank and you and you don't want any of that so i've got blackboards up on the sides and i'm shooting through uh a roll of uh white white paper uh, i'm using a canon uh 600 exrt speed light i'm only using this and it's mounted on my uh stand here i'm only using this because my backlight, my main light is uh, ADB 800, and when you backlight something, obviously there's going to be silhouette. So, uh, in order to quit the, you know, get get around the silhouette, I I use this speed light to to give me uh, a little light in the front. You can see the, the settings on there. I'm at one eighth power and I'm at uh, one quarter power on my speed light. So uh, also I'm constrained for space because I'm doing this in my home. So ideally I'd like to have the background a little further back because when I splash water does get onto the back backdrop. And then uh, when you take pictures illuminating it from the back, then you do see the spots on there. So the, the more space you have, the better. And I'm just shooting with my Canon 5D Mark II. I've got wireless trigger on there, uh, and then a wireless receiver on my speed light. And I've just I've got a 75 to 300 lens on here. It's not anything special. Uh, I'm I'm shooting it at a distance. I could put my my 85 millimeter 1.8 on there or something like that, uh, you know, or my 40 millimeter prime, and that'll get me a lot closer to the tank. But I backed it off. Just to keep water off my tank, because when you splash these things in there, it's different than doing strawberries and lime wedges. These these are like little cannonballs, and uh, just keeps everything keeps my camera away from the water. So anyway, um, we'll take some test shots and, and let you see how it all looks. Okay, I got a wireless remote, and I got my Canon 680 EXRT to illuminate the front of the, uh, the fruit. And we're going to do a couple couple shots uh, with some bell peppers. I mean, make sure everything fires first. Okay, everything fires. I'm going to shut my light off. Yes. Uh -huh. 